viewers in this tutorial we'll be covering a step-by-step -step process of how to design this instagram post without much ado let's get started create a new file with a width of 1080 pixels and a height of 1080 pixels and at a resolution of 300 let's add a new solid color with the following hex code 008 F D two. Let's let's add a circle. Press and hold on Shift while creating the circle so that we have a perfect circle. Uh, let's let's cancel the full color and create a stroke. Let's increase the size of the stroke to I think 80 89 will do. Uh, let's give the stroke a color of an orange color. Let's look at the Xcode. Okay, this is the Xcode for the sec for the circle. Now let's add. Let's introduce another photo to the background. Let's add a text to the background. Let's transform the size of the text. Let's add a stroke to the text. Uh, let's change the color to white. Let's position it at inside and um, change the size to five. Let's reduce the full color. Let's duplicate the text. Okay, let's accept it. Uh, let's introduce another picture for the background. Let's transform the size of the picture. Uh, let's rasterize it. Let's convert it to a smart object. Uh, let's add a blur to the picture by using a Gaussian blur. Okay, let's accept it at 3.3. Now let's change the blend mode to a soft light. Okay. Let's introduce let's introduce uh, the picture, another picture to the background. Let's flip it horizontally. Okay. Let's convert it to a smart object. Uh, let's adjust the picture a bit by using the camera roll. Uh, let's go to the detail tab and change the amount to 43 or let's say 46 uh, let's let's see the effect of the camera let's zoom in so that we can see the full effect of the camera okay now let's Added a bit of a drop shadow to it. 
let's move the tab to the left side so we can see what you're doing uh okay let's see let's see if you can change the color of the drop shadow let's see okay let's use this xcode here for the drop shadow let's zoom out so we can see let's accept it and zoom out so we can see the full detail of what we are doing sorry uh, let's see if we can adjust the the drop shadow a bit uh, okay let's leave it at this level with these values okay So now let's let's save the from this layer to the bottom layer. Let's group it and save it and rename it as our background. The photo to us. Let's create a folder for the photo and rename it as photo. Let's create an empty layer. Let's uh, let's add a, a, a solid color to the layer. A black solid will do. Let's select the max part of the solid color. Let's fade it from the top. Let's rasterize the layer. Let's accept the max but Let's apply the, the layer max. Now let's add another solid color. We'll leave it at black. This time let's fade it from the right side. Okay, let's rasterize this layer yet again and apply the layer max. Let's change the blend mode of this layer to multiply. Let's do that for this layer too. Let's change the blend mode to multiply. Uh, let's zoom in. let's create another solid color this time around we'll change the x code to a bit of a blue by using zero zero the x code will be zero zero four d seven one okay now let's fade it to let's fade it also let's select the max and fade it from the right side Uh, let's rasterize the layer yet again and uh, apply the layer max. Let's change the mode to screen. Let's see. Okay. Let's zoom in into our canvas. Let's revert back to the move tool since we are done with the brush tool. Let's Let's regroup all these layers and rename it as adjustment. Now let's add a more some more text to the canvas. But before we do that, let's create a rectangle from the base. Let's change the color to the pink color. Uh, 
Okay, let's see if we can deepen it further. Or yet still, let's see if we can. Let's accept it. Let's see if we can borrow from the pink over here. Okay. So we'll accept it. Now let's change the. Let's change the blend the blend mode to let's see. Let's see with hue. No, let's set it with hue. Let's zoom in further. Okay. Let's create another rectangle. This time a, a white rectangle. Okay, let's introduce the badge, the badge of the school. Okay, let's transform the size. Okay, before we do that, let's close it and uh, open it as a, as an image. Let's open it as an image since we want to make further adjustment to the patch here. Okay, now let's select the crest part of the patch and uh, use the rectangular marquee tool to select the the crest. Let's copy. Let's copy it. And paste it onto this canvas. Let's transform the size a bit. Let's transform the size a bit. Okay, I think it's an at an appreciable size here. Now let's go there and now let's copy the text part of the badge. Let's transform the size. Let's zoom in to that option, that that portion. Okay. Uh, let's type the name of the student. Using the Montreal font for that. Let's make sure it displays at the highest level of the layers. Okay, so now we can reposition it on the pink rectangle. Let's zoom into that option, that portion. Let's transform the size a bit. Uh, let's see if we can change the font to lemon milk font yes let's maintain it that the lemon milk light let's duplicate it and type in that name the same name of the student let's transform the size of the surname Let's zoom in so we see what you can so that we can align it appropriately. Okay, let's zoom out. Let's create another rectangle. A white one. Let's change the color to white. Okay, let's refer to the actual the original okay so we are we are done we are yet to do the other side okay okay let's type let's duplicate the this text and type it the original text over there 
let's see if we can uh, change the font face of this to let's say bold or maybe probably let's say medium would do medium would do okay let's zoom into that portion and type the other text distinction let's zoom out a bit uh, let's change the font face to regular or let's say light light would do let's accept it uh, let's refer to the okay we'll let this portion let's duplicate this font Let's transform the size further. Uh, let's refer to the actual image again. Okay, we are on track. But let's see if we can increase the size a bit. Yeah, to this level. Okay. Let's duplicate this text and type this the name of the school and the other credentials okay so now let's rename the text over here let's type the name of the school st john's Holmes college Top Achiever Achiever Metric twenty twenty one. Uh, let's transform the size a bit. Uh, let's see if we can increase the tracking of the test a bit okay i think it's at an appreciable level now so now let's regroup all that parts and name it as a text Okay, so finally we're done. Uh, let's add some final touches to the to our artwork. Let's see if we can brighten the image with a color lookup. Okay, let's try the tray strip look. Okay. So now let's finalize everything as I said and uh, duplicate the final artwork by by old and you hold the, sh the shift control alt E at the same time to duplicate all what that we've done. So let's convert it to a smart object and see if you can use the camera roll to brighten it a bit further so let's give it a clarity of 23 and an amount of 23 and a luminance of 40 okay so finally we are done uh, thanks for your time and uh, stay tuned for more exciting tutorials like this. Ciao!